Hi everyone, I'm Pradeep D'Souza and today I will show you how to create a resource calendar or a team calendar. You can use a resource calendar or a team calendar to track availability of resources uh, for project deadlines, for task assignments and this will help you and your team manage schedules, track availability and coordinate activities. You can also use this calendar to track people as in resources, equipment, rooms and spaces, etc. So to get started, I have here a resource calendar created within Gantt Excel. I have listed the resources on the left here and the timeline on the right. So in this video, I will show you how to set up a timeline and add resources, set up work days, set up holidays, set up the organization holidays, and also show you how you can customize the timeline and change colors for holidays, non-working days, holidays per resource, and highlight non-working days per resource. So. Just to give you an example here, I have a team calendar that shows you the timeline from the 1st of December to the 15th of January. You can see the week numbers listed below the months and then the days. It is very clear that 23rd of December to 3rd of January are the holidays. The organization that I have set up here works on Mondays to Fridays with Saturday and Sundays as the work up as a weekend. It's clear that John is on holiday on the 19th and 20th of December. Kathy is off on the first week of December. Susan also likes to take every Wednesday off throughout the year along with the weekend. Matthew is working and is available throughout the month. And James here is on holiday from the 16th of December to the 10th of January. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to create this calendar within Excel. First, you need to go to gantexcel.com and download Gantt Excel. Once you've downloaded Gantt Excel, you can open up the file and click on the add new Gantt chart button. So here I'm going to enter the project details, which in this case would be say the team calendar, the sheet name, team calendar, my name, Pradeep D'Souza as the project lead. The duration I'm going to leave this with the default days and I'm going to turn off enable costs and click the OK button. A new Gantt chart is created, uh, but bear with me, it's, it's a, you can use this Gantt chart to actually create, add all your tasks, set the priority, add, add your resources, set your start date, finish dates and duration. But anyways, we're not going to get into this, we're going to convert this into a resource calendar. So first things first, I need to add uh, in the name of the resources who uh, work in my team. So I'm going to go with John, let's say Kathy. Susan, uh, Matthew, and uh, let's say James, and uh, finally Judy, right? So I've added six resources in over here. I also need to add the resources into uh, this resource list. But before I do that, let me set up the calendar. The calendar that I want to see for is, let's say, December 1st to, let's say, 2025, January 15th, right? So this is the timeline that I want to see. Let me hit update timeline. So as you can see, I can see that uh, the timeline has updated accordingly from December 1st to January 15th. The next thing that I'm going to do is 
let me set the duration of this first task actually to one. Don't worry about this, but this is the calendar that we're interested in. I can already see that my organization works from Monday to Friday. So let's see how we can first add in the organization holidays. So to add in the organization holidays, click on resources. And uh, there's a resource by default added in as organization. So here you can set the work days that your company works for. So let's say we have a Monday to Friday regular week uh, work schedule. Let me add in the holidays. Let's set the uh, holidays to start from December 20, yeah, 23rd. And the end date for the holidays would be January 20. Okay, yeah, so the end date would be 3rd, right? Hit select. So let me give a holiday name. Let me call this Christmas holidays or just call it the holiday season. And I'm going to hit add holiday. So as you can see, uh, Gantt Excel has automatically added the holidays from December 23rd all the way to 3rd January 2025. I'm going to hit save. And let's see what happens. I'm going to close and refresh the Gantt chart. So you can see that in the timeline, the organization holidays are now showing up in a very different color. Right? You can change the colors as well. I will show you how to do this later. But for now, these are the organization holidays. Now let's add uh, resource-wise uh, holidays. So to do that, I'm going to go to resources again. And I'm going to add in all the resources. So I've added all the resources. So what I can do from here is I can actually go ahead into each resource and set their work days. I can set their holidays. Uh, so yeah, so for John, I'm going to add, uh, John said he wanted to go and leave on uh, December 19th itself. So I'm going to hit select here. And the end date was uh, 20th. So basically 19th to 20th, he wanted two additional holidays. So I'm going to hit select and I'm going to say leave. I'm going to hit save. Right, and uh, I'm going to go to the next resource. Let's go to Kathy, and Kathy wanted to go on holidays from December second to December sixth. And let me just say uh, our vacation. I'm going to hit and holiday, and. Uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the save button. I think I didn't save John's holidays. Yeah, actually, I've saved it. Okay, then go to Susan. Uh, Susan, she doesn't come in on Wednesdays. So I'm going to tick off Wednesday and hit save. Matthew, on the other hand, or, uh, is not going to go on holidays. He's going to work. Uh, James wanted uh, holidays from the 15th. So... Let's go December 15th. That's already a holiday. It's a weekend. Let's put him on holiday from the 16th, right? And he said, uh, yeah, till the 10th of Jan. Hit select. And I'm going to say um, request to leave. Yeah, you can name them whatever you want. But anyways, I'm going to hit add all these holidays. I'm going to hit save. Also, I just want to bring to your attention that you can import resources. So if you have... Uh, your resources in a separate Excel file, you can just click on import resources and import all the resources into the program. So if you have a long list of holidays and you want to import all the holidays for say uh, the year 2025, you can do that over here. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to close and refresh the Gantt chart. Nothing exact, nothing happened over here, right? No, there's no update in the calendar. So what I need to actually do is I need to go in and uh, under the resource column, just double click here and select the resource. So this is John. Okay. I can also type it in, Kathy. So just based on my list here, I've added the names into the resource and uh, refreshing in here, right? I don't see the resource based calendar. So what I need to do is click on settings and select highlight holidays per resource. 
and also highlight non-working days per resource. And you can see here now that John is on holiday on the 19th and 20th, and then he's uh, pretty much off uh, based on the organization holidays. Uh, Kathy here is on holidays from in the, pretty much in the first week. And uh, Susan works only Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and uh, doesn't work on Wednesday. Matthew, on the other hand, uh, is working throughout the month here. Uh, James is off on vacation from the 16th all the way to January 10th. And uh, Judy pretty much uh, is not on holiday uh, in December and uh, January 20 and January as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is how you go about uh, creating an office calendar or a team calendar for your team. So I just want to show you that you can hide a couple of columns here that we're not interested to see. So for example, I'm going to hide the uh, the done column. I'm going to hide the percentage complete column, the duration column, the finish column, the start column. I'm also going to hide the resource column and the priority column. Click on column width and set this column width to say 20. Yeah, one more thing I would like to show you is how you change the theme and how to change the colors. So I can go to settings here. I can change the theme to blue. I can change the theme to Excel. I can change the theme to dark. And I can also go back and set it back to classic, but at the same time, set a custom, uh, set custom colors. So let me select custom here. Let's say I want to see the organization holidays as, uh, let's say, uh, blue right so i'm gonna hit okay so the holiday colors are now showing up in blue i want to see the uh, highlight holidays per resource in red so i clearly get to see uh who's off on what day i'm also gonna change the color for highlight non-working days per resource I'm going to hit OK, and uh, I get to see uh, now that the non-working days per resource is showing up in this color. So this is one way to set up custom colors. You can also hide the holiday columns. So uh, this, this option here highlights, sorry, hides all the holiday columns. So if I select this, all the holidays, the season holidays are uh, pretty much hidden. And I can also hide the non-working days. So all the non-working days, that's pretty much Saturday and Sunday and the holiday season, uh, the columns are hidden. So let's go back and uh, set that back. And I'm going to select highlight holidays and highlight non-working days here. So yeah, I hope you found this useful. Uh, this is, I think, the fastest way to create a holiday calendar. You don't have to deal with co uh, conditional formatting. You don't have to uh, create any custom calendar. It's all right there within the tool. And um, you can also export this calendar to PDF or XLSX and uh, send it out to your colleagues and other stakeholders. So yeah, if you like this video, please go ahead, give us a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, and you guys have a good day. Thank you.